Well, here we are, fully locked and loaded. Get rid of that. Get that to shut right. It's just after four o'clock here. We are about ready to head down to Sioux Falls for a lovely COVID test. First stop of the trip before we get on down to Sheridan, Wyoming for the night. Get this started up. business today. Get that. Can't see that there, but we'll get that trip. Odometer reset. There we go. All right, here we are. End of stop number one. Made it to Sheridan, Wyoming after nearly 12 hours in the car. Um, including nearly a one-hour stop uh, in the big town of Sioux Falls, South Dakota for a COVID test. That was nothing short of uncomfortable, to say the least, but we need that to get on the ferry on Saturday morning. So hope to have some good results, negative results by end of the day tomorrow on Thursday. We'll be good to go. But here in Sheridan, we had some wonderful dinner at the Pony Bar and Grill, which was um, very good. I had a barbecue burrito, they call it. Had some spicy sausage, brisket, barbecue sauce, and macaroni and cheese stuffed inside a tortilla shell with some awesome seasoned fries, so delicious. Mom had a steak sandwich. We are all full, ready to go for bed now. It's about uh, seven o'clock Mountain West time here. We're gonna get some shower in, a little bit of TV, and hit the hay for another long day tomorrow. Plan is to go the scenic route up to Missoula, Montana through Yellowstone National Park. Um, be about another 10 hours of straight driving, so we're planning on 12 hours of travel. We'll see where that takes us, though. Hopefully it's some good wildlife. We saw a lot of antelope today, a lot of turkeys as well, um, a couple of dead mule deer on the side of the road, and hopefully more tomorrow, so stay tuned. We are here, day two of our adventure to Alaska, now in Yellowstone National Park. Um, after going through Cody, Wyoming, entered on the east entrance, and now went over the fishing bridge, going to head up towards um, Canyon, I don't know what the name of that is, sorry. Um, this is the Yellowstone River right here, and we will keep on our travels. Had a little snickety snack here of some beef sticks and smoked cheeses, so... First Yellowstone traffic jam here. Yeah. A bunch of buffalo out running around. Oh, look at these ones. A little dust turning up here. One bull is charging like mad. Chasing a calf around, actually. No cars damaged it yet, yet that we've seen. All right, here we are, end of day two. Today is Thursday, August 20th, as a reminder again. Um, we went about another 550 miles. We left yesterday right at 800, so put on less miles today, but still spent 13 hours in the car. Um, we did a lot more of the scenic drive today, so once we left Sheridan, Wyoming this morning at about 7 a.m., after a good night's rest, we went to Cody, Wyoming via the alternate route on Highway 14, so up through the mountains, the Bighorn Mountains, saw those. Um, through some up and down terrain, 10% grade, so pretty steep traveling, um, but it was awesome. We started off the day seeing a moose. Scenery everywhere is just gorgeous. It's um, love Minnesota, but the mountains are truly something special, so it's cool to see that. Got into Yellowstone um, right around lunchtime, I think it was. Um, saw their awesome place again. We went through it once years ago on vacation, and by that time it was like day 12 of our vacation, so we kind of Flew right through it, so it's good to go through there again today, a little more slowly this time. Um, spent quite a few hours in there. 
Saw some awesome scenery, awesome wildlife, buffalo right up at the roadside, saw some elk nearby as well, and did that. So spent a few hours in there. After leaving Yellowstone, took another four hours to get up here to our final destination for the night up in Missoula, Montana. We are staying at the Come On Inn, which is the same brand um, company, the hotel, that has a couple different locations across the country. Most notably, though, in Park Rapids, Minnesota, where we've had our um, Sweeney Christmases for a couple of years up there. Um, we stayed at the hotel room poolside and as kids and spent a lot of hours swimming, a lot of hours also uh, playing Big Buck Hunter in the arcade game room there, so it kind of brings back some good memories here. It's a nice outdoor resort kind of feel, um, western Montana lodge feel here in the hotel, so it's awesome to be good night's sleep hopefully. Um, tomorrow, some more traveling again to our final destination in Bellingham, Washington. We will get out there hopefully dinner time a little bit afterwards. We're kind of planning again a more scenic route again today as well up through the northern Cascade Mountains after going through Spokane, Washington. So it should be another good day of travel. Um, and then we did get good news today. I also forgot to mention that, that our COVID tests were negative. So I uh, found that out about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning, which was great news. Uh, mom's friend who helped us get those tests so promptly uh, gave us the call and gave mom a mild heart attack saying that her test came back positive and played that joke on for about 10 seconds or so. And Wish I had that reaction on camera because I think both of our hearts sank pretty quickly there. Oh crap, what are we going to do now? But both negative, good to go in the ferry. Hopefully nothing else pops up. We'll be good to go and on our way Saturday, mor or Saturday morning for that ferry. All right, 7 a.m. here in Missoula, Montana. I can't tell. I don't have my watch on. Mom forgot her watch charger at home, so she's Apple watchless for her. <laughs> Um, we're about to head to Winthrop, Washington first and out to Bellingham, but I could not forget yesterday's blunder from first sign of road trip delirium. We're driving somewhere between Yellowstone and here in Missoula and Mom looks off to the left as she's in the passenger. Oh look, it's a, oh, just a sprinkler, never mind. <laughs> Thought it was going to be a geyser there in the middle of a hayfield, but just a sprinkler. So, we've got more Diet Coke today, I've got coffee, we'll be good to go. No words. here we are end of day three it is friday august 21st as you can see we are just barely shy of 1900 miles total for the trip i was tempted once i saw this to go make another lap around the the block here on the hotel but that's too much work i think at this point um we are now in the town of bellingham washington which is our final destination for the driving portion of the trip um got here at about 5 30 this afternoon here pacific west time now so we are now two time zones away from minnesota um we left uh missoula montana that's where we were this morning at about seven o'clock went through there um and then entered into washington first half of the trip actually missoula was fine that first three hours was great afterwards eastern washington was very deserty and boring uh, i'm not gonna lie there but it was still pretty impressive to see all the big hills and things like that and then got into the Cascade Mountains here in Washington, which were very gorgeous. Greenery just galore. It's really impressive seeing all the mountains and just loaded with pine trees. Um, some awesome lakes that are built in the middle of the valleys there, and it's a lot of waterfalls, so it was really great scenery the second half of the trip. Um, not too much for animal sightings today. We saw a couple of deer early on, and then a coyote across the road in the desert that we were in. Um, did not realize all the wheat fields that were in Washington that was um, just endless it seemed like also apple orchards were really incredible to see those they were packed as tight as you can see you can barely see through them but just huge bales full of um, or crates full of apples already be picked soon so it was good to see, cool to see that for the first time um, but we are re definitely ready to be out of the car for a while and onto the ship then tomorrow morning um, we'll get in there hopefully around Start boarding 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then wait for about five hours until boarding's all done at 3 o'clock. That's when we take off. Um, they've got a lot longer process now for boarding with all the COVID restrictions. So it'll take a little bit longer in the morning, but we'll get on there hopefully and be just good to go for a four and a half day almost ferry ride till Wednesday evening. So it'll be awesome to see those heights of the inside passage. Um, I did have an inside passage pale ale today from 
Bay, was it Boundary Bay Brewing Company. Um, they had good food, good beer there as well. So enjoyed some local fare. And then off tomorrow and next phase of the adventure, getting closer up to Alaska now. See you all later.